Hello, good morning, hola y buenos días. Uh, welcome to today's devotional. Bienvenidos al devocional de este día. And uh, Merry Christmas. I mean, I know it's a, a three days early. Feliz Navidad. Yo sé que son tres días temprano, but hey, we're getting ready to celebrate Christmas. Estamos alistándonos para celebrar la Navidad. And remembering the birth of Jesus Christ. Y recordando el nacimiento de Jesucristo. And it ties into uh, this week's devotional. Uh, um, está enlazado con los devocionales de, este, de esta semana. And today's devotional, devocional de esta mañana is called Everlasting Father is Padre Eterno and um I like how Isaiah introduces him. Me gusta como Isaías uh, lo introduce. So in Isaiah chapter 6, verse, so, sorry, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, in Isaías capítulo 9, versículo 6, it reads the following, lee lo siguiente, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, uh, and Prince of Peace. Dice, um, pues nos ha nacido un niño, hijo, uh, un hijo se nos ha dado, el gobierno descansará sobre sus hombros y será llamado consejero maravilloso, Dios poderoso, Padre eterno y príncipe de paz. So, this is Isaiah introducing Jesus to us. Esto es Isaías introduciéndonos a Jesús. And you might think, well, if he's talking about Jesus, tal vez piensas si está hablando de Jesús, why is he calling him everlasting father? ¿Por qué le está llamando Padre eterno? Well, here's the thing. Jesus is God. Jesús es Dios. So every every attribute of the Father is is in Jesus. Cada atributo del Padre está en Jesús. And also, you know, the title uh, Everlasting Father, el título Padre Eterno, it, it's in relation to to the other people, not to to anything else. No, I'm um, sorry, it's not in relation to the other two. No está en relación con con los demás. It's in relation to time. I said, él está en relación con, con uh, acerca del tiempo. And that is who who uh, Isaiah is introducing to us. Es quien Isaías nos está introduciendo. Um, and it's, it's actually, it's a good study about the Trinity. Es una buena, buena estudio acerca de la Trinidad. But we're going to concentrate on that everlasting Father. Vamos a concentrarnos en ese Padre eterno. So if you open your Bibles to Galatians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, si abre sus Biblias en Galatas, capítulo 6, perdón, capítulo 4, versículos 6 y 7, it reads the following, lee lo siguiente. And because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of uh, the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call out, Abba, Father. Now you are no longer a slave, but God's own child. And since you are his child, God has made you his heir. Dice, y debido que somos sus hijos, Dios envió al Espíritu de su Hijo a nuestro corazón, el cual nos impulsa a exclamar, Abba Padre, ahora ya no eres un esclavo, sino un hijo de Dios, y como eres hijo de Dios, Dios te ha hecho su heredero. So, you know, this, we're on that other side of the promise now. Estamos al otro lado de la promesa. Isaiah, you know, introduced him 700 years before he was born. Isaías lo introdujo 700 años antes de que él naciera. And now we're 2,000 years after his birth. Ahora estamos 2,000 años después de, de su nacimiento. And that promise is still valid. Esa promesa aún es válida. Jesus is the everlasting Father. Dios, Jesús es el Padre, el Padre eterno. Now we we uh, understand that's the relationship we have with him. Es la relación uh, que tenemos que tenemos con él. He gave us the gift of salvation. Nos dio el regalo de la salvación. His Holy Spirit dwells in us. Su Espíritu Santo está de, habita adentro de nosotros, and we are now part of his family. Ahora somos parte de su familia. We are granted the full benefits of being part of God's family. Se nos dan los beneficios completos de ser parte de la familia de Dios. And now we are heirs alongside Jesus. Somos herederos juntamente con Jesús. We have an inheritance. Now, ahora tenemos, tenemos una herencia. And we are able to call him Abba Father. Podemos llamarle Abba Padre. And you know, I was looking, I was looking it up. Estaba buscándolo. And the word Abba, la palabra Abba, it's like saying daddy. Es como decir papi. Decirle, eh, you know, you just, it's, it's 
something more personal, es algo más, más personal, uh, that you can come to, to, to the Lord, que puedes venir al Señor and be personal with Him, y ste, ser, ser, personal, uh, ser personal con Él, because He wants that personal relationship with us. Quiere esa, esa relación uh, personal con nosotros, and just as the Father, He's going to take care of us. Así como un Padre, Él va a cuidar de nosotros. When we face trials and tribulations, cuando enfrentamos tribulaciones, He's going to be there right with us, just holding our hand and walking with us. Él va a estar allí agarrándonos de la mano y caminando juntamente con nosotros. That is who He is. Él es, es, es quien, quien Él es. And, and, and He didn't stop there. No, no solo paró allí, not just making us part of His family, no solo hacernos parte de su familia. He said, You know what? I'm gonna make them. Um, I'm gonna make them my heirs. Los voy a hacer mis uh, herederos. And he didn't stop there either. He no paró nada más ahí. He he said, I'm gonna give them an inheritance. Los voy a dar una herencia. So you right there, tú donde estés. First of all, let me tell you something. Primeramente, déjame decirte algo. You are loved. Tú eres amado. You are wanted. Eres deseado. And God loves you so much. Te, Dios te ama tanto that he sent his son, que mandó a su hijo, uh, to die for your sins and mine para morir por tus pecados y por los míos. Isn't God so amazing? No es Dios tan maravilloso? He gave his son, dio a su hijo. Because he loved you so much, porque te amó a ti tanto, that he decided to give up his son, que decidió entregar a su a su hijo. So whatever you're going through, lo que sea que estés pasando, you know, God loves you. Dios te ama, and He is the everlasting Father. Él es el Dios, uh, et, uh, Dios eterno, and He's going to be there with you. Él va a estar ahí juntamente contigo. Let us pray. Vamos a orar. Lord Jesus, thank you for your love and your mercy. Señor Jesús, gracias te damos por tu amor y tu misericordia. Lord, thank you because you are amazing. Gracias porque tú eres maravilloso. Because you came into this world. Porque viniste a este mundo. Because you gave yourself up and, and died on the cross. Porque te entregaste en la cruz. And, and And, and you died and you were resurrected and moriste y fuiste resucitado to give us salvation para darnos la salvación that way so we can be brought into your family para hacer poder poder entrar a tu familia to become your children para ser tus hijos because you love us so much that you, you don't want us to be lost Señor porque nos amas tanto porque no quieres que nos perdamos you don't want us to stray away no quiere, quieres que nos alejemos you want a, a personal relationship with us Quieres una, una relación personal con nosotros because you are the father you are our daddy porque tú eres nuestro padre porque tú eres nuestro papi and, and, and you, love us, you love us so much y nos amas tanto Lord I pray that, that the people that are, are listening yo oro que los que están escuchando those that are watching aquellos que, que están viendo Lord I pray that you make them feel the love that you have for them que hagas sentir el amor que tú tienes por ellos Lord, that, that you can embrace them in whatever situation that they're in. Señor, que tú los puedas abrazar en cualquier situación en la que ellos se encuentren. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Yo oro esto en el nombre de Jesús. Amén y amén. God bless you. Dios les bendiga. Hey, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, buenos días. Gracias por acompañarnos. Uh, just a reminder about tomorrow. Recordatorio para mañana. Uh, tomorrow is our Kingdom Pantry. Mañana es la dispensa del reino. Or uh, Free Food Fridays. Or Viernes de, do, de comida gratis. <laughs> It doesn't translate the same to, to Spanish. No se traduce igual al español. But uh, if you have some time, pues, si tiene tiempo, uh, you can uh, come and help between 8.30 in the morning and noon. Uh, puede venir a ayudar entre las 8 de la mañana y el mediodía. Or if you know someone that needs help, si conoce a alguien que necesite ayuda, let them know the food is given out between 10 in the morning and noon. Uh, si lo conoce a alguien, déjele saber. La comida se da entre las 10 de la mañana y el mediodía. God bless you. Dios los bendiga.